I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Boast only in Jesus. Watch your boasting. Watch it. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love what we're doing, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications when you get when a new video is released, and donate right there. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things an organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. We're taking a look today on Bible study Thursday at Galatians 6, 12, 13, and 14. Probably 12 and 13. We'll check our times. Let's take a look at the text. Last week we had, oh, what big letters I write with. Today we start with verse 12. It is those who want to make, they want to make a, they want to make a good showing. They want to, they want to make, they want to make a, um, it's about being seen for them. It's about being visible, being, uh, yeah, being a um, trender. What's the, I don't know what term is. Anyway, I'll be mocked. The right word will be put underneath me, you know, typical. Um, they want to make a good showing in the flesh. They, that, they, they're the ones who force and compel you, force, compel you to be circumcised. only in order that they might not be persecuted for the cross of Christ. You see, the world wants to persecute. The world, the world. if you find your certainty in, in anything other than Jesus, the world will leave you alone. Anything other than the suffering and death of Jesus, be left alone. You won't be shamed. That was true then. That is true today. Try to have explain to somebody that you need to go to church for communion, even though there's all this quarantine stuff, you will be persecuted. Try to explain to somebody that you're going to be just fine at home because of your scriptures and the word and the like, you're going to be persecuted. Try to, try to explain to somebody that, you know, you're okay giving up church for a few weeks, but you're not okay being commanded to do so. You're going to be persecuted. And for the Jews who demanded circumcision, Paul says, look, they don't want to circumcise you. Uh, they want you to join them so that they're not persecuted for the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ because the cross brings suffering. See that you have salvation in something else or Jesus and you or the like, and you will be persecuted. And here's the clincher. Here is the clincher. Keep with me here. For even those of the circumcision do not themselves guard or keep or keep in the sex of protect, philoso, protect, guard the law. But they want you to be circumcised that they may boast in your flesh. They want you to be circumcised. They want you to trust in yourself. They want you to believe that so Jesus and something else because it confirms what they believe. It, 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 and see, this is the big deal. The law isn't only there to curb your behavior. That's so important. That is only one use of the law. And it's not even the primary use of the law. The law is not there to curb your behavior and make you a better person. That's not why God gave his law. That's not why Sinai smoked. And you, you don't need Jesus to, be a, to, to eat less, not drink alcohol, 
or to not dance. All you need is a little self-control. Um, say no to carbs. Curb your, 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 your lust for alcohol. Jesus can help you with those things, but that is not why he's here. He is here to save the whole of you. Every single pound and every inch of you that's uh, addicted to whatever it is that you're addicted to. Christ came to save sinners. That's why he came. The law was given, Sinai rumbled, so that you would die. Die to your sins so that you might live for God. What about the third use of the law? Okay. Yes, after you believe, after the Lord has saved you, he gives you, the law becomes a gift for you in order to love and serve your neighbor. But again, that is not the primary use of the law. In all of its uses of the law, the law kills you in order that, in order that Christ may make you alive. In the first use, it curbs your behavior in, in order that, that gives you the government, the army, the, the like, in order that manifest people aren't running around murdering people. In its second use, it kills you in order that you may be made alive with the gospel. In its third use, it's it's given to your old Adam, your new man. Your new man looks at the law and goes, this is good. I'm going to drown my old Adam in it, which is what the next verse says. Let's get to it. Meganito. Meganito is no. It's beep. No. I wish I'd sir. A put the sensor around. That's what Meganito is. Meganito literally means Meganito means no. Censor me. Bleep me out. That's what it means. Shall we sin more that grace may abound? Meganito. Does if we are if after we've been We've been rescued from our sins. If we sin, does that make Christ a, min a minister of sin? Meganito. No. Far be it. No, should I boast in anything except of our cross, the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, by which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. This is baptismal language. This is faith. This is, I've been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but he lives in me. The life that I live now, I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave his life for me. Galatians chapter three. So the two, so end of two. I want you to take this in. I want you to take this and I want you to treasure this. All the different things that you are tempted to boast in, which are not the cross of Christ. Your life change, your decision, how much, how much better you are than you used to be. Those are good things. I'm super duper happy for you. Double thumbs up and here's a treat. Ooh, I overthrew him. I was so excited. Look at him go. None of that. Maginato, if you boast in that other than the cross of Christ. And all of those things, your flesh is tempted to focus on them rather than focus on Jesus. Only Christ saves. Only Jesus. Everything else is just varying degrees of not Jesus. I consider everything rubbish from the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. We're going to pick this next verse up next week because I I don't well in two weeks after um after Holy Week because I don't want you to miss this. We could do a whole video short on just boasting, but for us here, don't lose your focus off of the suffering and death of Jesus. Repent of all of that. Give that up for Lent. Don't talk about what you have changed, how you have changed, how much better you are than you were before how much you're doing for God, none of that holds. It might hold before men, quorum hominibus, but it does not hold before God, quorum uh, deo. What holds for sure before God is the suffering and death of Jesus. And don't get mad at me because I'm pointing you to the suffering and death of Jesus and saying that the primary use of the law is to kill you and to save you. That's what the law does. It curbs sin, yes, but it doesn't only curb sin. What it does all throughout its uses is that it accuses and condemns and kills you. 
And what it does in that third use, which we love to sort of talk about recently, is it's your new man crowning your old man so that you can love others. And you love others by picking up the law that you have been saved from and learning the law so that you can love your neighbor. We'll talk about this in a couple of weeks when we hit this, when we hit verse 15 and 16, but today it's enough to say all about Jesus. Only Jesus saves you. Only Jesus saves you. Only Jesus saves you. Pastor Borkhart. And this has been another Higher Things video short. 